Hi guys, it's me Zim, and we're here to play some more Starbound. Um, unfortunately, there was a mod that I wanted for Starbound, two of them actually. Um, the uh, RPG mod and the uh, cloaking mod, but unfortunately for me, those don't work anymore. And uh, the cloaking mod kills all NPCs and animals within uh, earshot. <laughs> Not earshot, I mean within every... Uh, with the mod being on, so basically, uh, the only thing I could do is fight bosses, and that's it. So right now, we're back to playing Starbound regularly with a few mods. I got a different HUD now. Oh, I forgot I got to reboot the system, uh, and I can finally continue on with the game story since the NPCs are back now, and I don't have to worry about having to question my life. And yeah. Grab my food, grab my torches, and my flashlight. Um, I don't know if I can rearrange those actually. Flashlight goes here, torches go. Alrighty then. I uh, was trying to do videos on two games. I was trying to do a video on. Well, I tried to do a video on this until I found out that the, the glitch was uh, the fact that the NPCs kept disappearing was the one thing that kept pissing me off. Um, I was trying to do a video on me playing Postal 2, but unfortunately Postal 2, uh, was having some complications running, so I was literally just left in the dust, and I couldn't really run Postal 2, so I was kind of, like, out of it at that point. And I also tried to do, uh, some videos on Gary's mod Dark RP, but unfortunately for me, that didn't work out as well, because every RP server I would join, they'd crash. Something to fight, at least. It's a freaking coconut monster. Coconut monster. Coconut. You put the lime in the coconut. This out the way. What the frick is that? That's a nice looking sword. Damage is 3.5. Shade Co. Reality Thumper. So this melee weapon will make them bleed. It's a rapier. It does radiation damage. I've actually never tried a rapier in this game. Interesting. That's how the rapier works. Alrighty, I need my tent. I am hurting. Tent, where are you? Oh, there you are. Also, uh, also, uh, I will be doing more videos. As I said before, I tried doing a video of Postal 2, but that didn't go well because of the fact that the game decided to take a big fat crap on me when I was trying to do the video. Uh, oh god! I can't see anything. Hello? Oh. Oh. Whoa, what the? This bastard's shooting lasers like it's freaking a Mortal Kombat game. What the hell? What are you freaking triborgs? I'm gonna try and stop myself from uh, accidentally posting, uh, answering people's questions in, uh, videos. Because I've been doing that a lot and it's kind of messed me up. There is a first-person shooter game that I've actually been wanting to actually do a video on to show you guys to see how cool it is, because it's in, it's in, the funny thing is, the game's in early access, and, oh, man, that hurt, uh, the game's in early access, and it's only like 10 bucks in the Steam store right now, and it's actually doing pretty well for itself. More and more content being pushed out, and we're getting more and more updates for the game. So, chances are we're gonna get like a a pretty good get a uh, uh, first person shooter that has no microtransactions or DLC. You unlock everything by by just leveling up and stuff, just like how the original uh, Call of Duties were. All you did, all you had to do was rank up, rank up, rank up, till the cows come home, and next thing you know, you got yourself. 
out most of the weapons that you've wanted. Which is what I want from a first person shooter. Uh, well, and, and I'm actually kind of disappointed that people are just going for the pay to win everything. You, you If you want good stuff, you gotta buy it a route because that means they're just money greedy or that they probably just don't know how to manage your game correctly and next thing you know people are just gonna flock to it for a minute and then go away which i don't want from games i want people that actually enjoy that but this music is so cheery what the hell this music is so cheery never been here before but the music here is just so upbeat and happy it's like something I'll listen to if, like, I'm sad. Gonna sleep in this. Freaking cheery for this weird looking dungeon place. I've actually never seen this dungeon before. What the frick? <laughs> that little revolver is so tiny. Look at it. It's not a revolver. That's a that's a snub pistol. That's a snub. This is a snub snub. I'm calling it a snubby. It's called the snub now. This is this is the snub. The snub handgun. I like it already. What can we make while we're here? What's this? This is a claw. Oh, jeez. Who the heck are you? Greetings, traveler. I am Vinalis. Uh, Vinalji? I'm Vinalji. Director of the Corvix research team. I'm on a vacation, but I don't talent when I see it. I can offer you a position on my staff if you can prove your work. Make a machining table for one of your default crafting menus and bring it here. Alrighty. Can I sleep in your pod? What do you mean by crafting? A machining table. Ah, oh, here we go. You need iron, copper, and paper. How do you get paper? <laughs> I get copper. Hey, I can make paper. I can make some paper. That's too much paper. <laughs> um, 20. 20 paper. I can probably go to that guy to the left now. The guy to the left. Sounds so dumb. The machining table. Uh, craft all sorts of useful gear. Oh, 
All right, then. Small business card with a star chart location relatively nearby boosted the Amazon and search knowledge. Your mark the location of my charts you can access via my ship's sal. Weakness you're feeling likely due to hunger. I need to eat! I haven't eaten in a while. I need my food. My, my, my deliciousness. My, my succulent items. Also known as can. Uh, pistol and machine pistol. Oh, there. And let's put that on. So, help, so I got me a helmet. It covers my eyes. <laughs> um, tricorder. Primary check status. Quest menu. Oh, wait, so primary check status. Secondary quest menu. Shift. Configure MM. What does that mean? Configure it out. Oh! Let's go! Teleportation is functional correctly. Currently, only the planet below is accessible. Science outpost. The science outpost is an important research center situated on less life and rainforest. The boy! We. Who the heck are you? Mm -hmm. Have an awesome day! Um, some information log. I think I actually duped. Just putting this information inside my information logs. So that I can uh, check them out later. Uh, the generator's down below. Dude, this looks awesome. Hey, look at that! Oh, is that this? Personally, I think religion is a sham. It should be erased from existence by people shamefully disagree. I require sustenance. You eat foods? Please, you're a well respected member of the research community. I'm a suintist. This is elevator. Oh, this is gonna drive. Hey, working elevator. That's nice. Oh, jeez. So many research stuff. There's so many stuff around this. Dude, Fracking Universe is awesome. I've been playing this game wrong the whole entire time. I have not done anything with Fracking Universe at all. I'm getting free stuff. Copper wire. And most of the stuff in here is not important for me. So I got myself a new coat. Got myself a lab coat. Makes me look like a... Makes it look like I have a, a small jumpsuit on. Uh, I should put my coat in here. No, not in there. I want to put my coat in things. No, I'll put that... No, I'm selling that soon. Um, I got a bag. What's in the bag? I got me a blade. It's a one-handed. Oh, that's a rapier. 33.7. 3.5. This one's the same stuff. What's the speed on it? 1.5. What's the speed on the other one? 1.5. Uh, obviously, they're rapiers. Can you put that on there, too? Okay. Nice. All right, then. So let's see here. We had got some other stuff in my pocket. Inventory. It is some more objects. It's so tidy. Look at that little subterfuge. So I'll see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was me playing Sturbound. And we actually got a lot of crap done. Hold up a minute. Let me eat some food before I log off so my dude doesn't end up going hungry. Um. And we got plenty of cool stuff. I look like I, I, I could go to like, I look like I'm wearing a jumpsuit. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. And that was Starbound. I believe I'm still 21. I don't know. But who knows?